Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's both questions are going to be about water potential and the first question is what can we expect to observe if we place a cell inside a solution where the cell's water potential is equal to minus 0.3 kilopascals and that of the solution is minus 0.9 kilopascals and here's the variance to choose from. Water potential is the potential energy of water in a system compared to pure water when both temperature and pressure are kept the same. It can also be described as a measure of how freely water molecules can move in particular environment or system. It is measured in kilopascals and represented by the Greek letter psi. Water potential is never positive but has a maximum value of zero which is that of the pure water at atmospheric pressure. And when it comes to impure water or water that has solutes in it, the more solute there is, the more negative water potential becomes, since the solute molecules will attract the water molecules and restrict their freedom to move. If you are still confused, take a look at this picture. I want to use this picture as mnemonic technique, so imagine that water, which is here on the top, has high potential and which is here at the bottom has low potential and of course water always would go from high potential to low potential. Now think which out of these two numbers is bigger and of course minus 0.3 is bigger than minus 0.9 so minus 0.3 we put here and minus 0.9 we put here. So this is going to be direction of the uh, movement of water from high water potential to low water potential. But again, this is just a mnemonic technique for you. Whenever you will have difficulty solving this type of problems, recall this picture. So let's read again our problem. What can we expect to observe if we place a cell inside the solution where the cells Water potential is equal to minus 0.3 and those of the solution minus 0.9 kilopascals. And of course, in this case, water is going to move from high water potential to lower water potential direction. So that means from the cell to the outside of the cell. Answer A. And second question, simply put, water potential is variant A, the amount of water that roots can take up per day, variant B, the combination of osmotic pressure and gravitational forces, variant C, the combination of solute potential and pressure potential, and variant D, the amount of pressure needed to push water up the plant stem. And here is the formula of the water potential. And in this formula, as you see, psi stands for the total water potential. Sometimes we write as psi w, and psi s stands for the solute potential, and psi p stands for the pressure potential. As you see, the correct answer is going to be answer C, the combination of solute potential and pressure potential. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.